Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here. Hope everybody is having an awesome day. I know that I'm doing pretty good. Uh, first of all, wanted to start by saying sorry about the delay on getting another video out, but Murphy's Law had reared its ugly head this past week, and the entire week of doing videos that I had planned on, it just didn't happen. Um, anyway, not going to go into details of what happened and all that because long story, a lot of stories, uh, a lot more than I want to explain on here. So what are we doing today? Today we are going to install Vanilla Gnome on Ubuntu 19.10. Why are you doing that? Um, kind of backstory. I understand why when uh, Ubuntu decided to switch to the GNOME desktop, they made some tweaks and whatnot uh to make it uh more familiar um a more a better continuity for those that were long-term ubuntu users been using the unity desktop for a long time and what they did yeah it's not exactly unity but uh, it kind of eases the transition now for somebody like me who has been using gnome shell for uh a long time let's just go with that um i don't like what they did uh i much prefer the vanilla gnome experience um so you know for me while you know when i look at at the current ubuntu it's like yeah that's a that's a pretty nice uh distro at the same time i'm like yeah i want real gnome i don't want your version of gnome so Today's video, we are going to take a look at how to set that up on Ubuntu 18, or I'm sorry, not 18, 19.10. I almost screwed that one up. Uh, anyway, let's get to doing that. Okay, so here we are. We are in Ubuntu 19.10. Uh, I'm actually running this in a virtual machine using uh, GNOME boxes. I am run for those that are interested. Currently, I am running um, Manjaro as uh, as my distro of choice. But uh, so, let's open up the terminal, and there we go. A little bigger, okay. And uh, so doing this is real easy. First thing you want to make sure that your system is completely updated. So to update uh, and to upgrade put in your password and I shouldn't have anything to do because I already upgraded a bit ago I can clean up those extra packages that are unneeded now but uh, no reason to oh yeah there is some packages Okay, so let's upgrade all that stuff. Surprising, because I just uh, I just upgraded that this morning, but hey, uh, whatever. Okay, that is all upgraded. So, add this really simple. I'm just going to copy and paste from my notes over here. To apt install gnome dash session, hit enter. Boom, zero upgraded, three newly installed, zero to remove, and zero to not. And go, do you want to do that? Yes, boom. And we let the magic occur. That's, you know, the most part. Uh, that's all we need to do and so on. Now, if you want to have the GDM screen, the, the GNOME Display Manager, login screen that comes with vanilla gnome if you want to use that screen one additional thing you got to do copy from notes here hmm. try that again there we go a little bit of a lag there because of the virtual machine anyway you want sudo Update dash alternative space and then double dash config gdm re.css enter and it'll give you the different choices uh, for which one of the installed 
gnome shell things you want to use we want to use number number two number two enter and boom it is updated so now all you need to do is we need to restart our system let's go here we will restart second here Okay, there it is. Now, come down here. See the little scroll wheel, cog wheel, whatever you want to call it. You've got several options. Ubuntu, Ubuntu on Wayland, GNOME on Xorg, GNOME. You're going to want to do one of these two. Um, I would do GNOME on Xorg. Put in our password. And we are now on GNOME Shell with none of the default, or no, yeah, none of the uh, the Ubuntu extensions enabled, not, you know, none of that kind of stuff. Um, get your default, the default, uh, um, I don't want to brain cramp here, um, the default, uh, GNOME setup as far as you don't, you're not running the, the Ubuntu dock and any of that kind of stuff. So, you know, this is going to be nice for either one, if you're somebody who you know, really does like uh, vanilla GNOME, or if you want to have essentially a clean slate to go and add, you know, add, subtract, do whatever. Um, to create your own setup, if you want to call it that, um, your own version of GNOME Shell. Not really version of GNOME Shell, but set up GNOME Shell the way that you want it set up. It, you know, you've gotten rid of all of those, uh, all of uh, the Buntu defaults. And um, that's essentially it. Well, that pretty much finishes things up here. I hope that you found it useful. As always, comments, questions, all that kind of stuff, leave it down below. I try to get to it as soon as I can. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I hope everybody's going to have an awesome day today. And be sure to check out my next video when it pops up on YouTube. Thanks a lot.